Hello and welcome to this worked example of orthographic sketching. Look at a little bit more complex house form. We've got a choice of seven. I think we're going to look specifically at number three. Now I want you to have a good look at three before we do any work and see if you can understand what that actually looks like. We're going to start with the elevation. It's definitely three squares long and two squares high. And the plan view projecting up from that will be three squares long and two squares deep. And the end elevation projecting again off the side of the elevation will be two squares high and two squares deep or thick. There's the baseline, there's a and there's a top. Now there's a vertical line in that elevation that itself we can definitely see, but it needs a little bit more clarification. And we'll get that hopefully from the other two views. So looking at the end elevation, you can see the lines matching between the 2D and the 3D. So stop, slow down and pause so you keep on track of what's happening here. And you can definitely see a sloping surface and a little triangle, top left hand corner, that appears to be visible in the 3D view. Now in the plan view, the bit we're going to get missing is that front left hand corner. And it's missing by a diagonal, a sloping line. So in two views there, we can see triangles. If you look at the 3D view, we can definitely see a triangles in two views, two parts. And we can see a square at the back on the elevation. If you add a little bit of color to the 3D view, it might help you get a better understanding. So we're looking for, um, any possible inaccuracies in this part of the drawing because at this stage we've had a couple of practices we should get a little better so if you have a look been a little bit quick a little bit rushed uh, in these corners with overshoots on quite a few of them in some cases we may have corners that don't actually uh, join up so be accurate when we're sketching take your time get the proportions of the first elevation right and then from there project forward there's a little bit more time when firming in to your orthographic but be accurate with this your sketch can build up the, the, the overall relationship between the elevation plan and end elevation but the inking in or the firming in of your drawing is you saying yes i want corners like this sharp right angles i don't want overshoots and i don't want corners that miss so some examples of good and bad practice on this particular sketch here Get into good habits, get into good habits now and that will help you right the way through this course because there's a lot of accurate sketching and drawing and CAD work to come in the next few months. Time now will save you a lot of time and hassle later on. So now you've had a look at the drawing, that's a starting point, it's your chance to have a go.